Wednesday. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys. All right, we have some packages here that we need to get into. But first off, but first off, before I go any further, I need to send a huge shout out to all of the allergy sufferers all across the land. All of you underneath the sound of my voice. I feel you. I hear your sneezes and I see your watery eyes because I too am a member of the allergy sufferer community. This week, try to take me out. Try to take me out, guys. It's been rough. So if you suffer with allergies, please drop down, leave a comment, let me know um, just how bad yours are and your tips and tricks for, you know, getting through the dog days of allergy season. What I have found to help me immensely has been this humidifier right here. You guys know that we have several dehumidifiers in the house that is not what you want to use when you suffer with allergies. It will dry you out so bad. You'll feel like you're bleeding from the top of your brain all the way out. Don't do it, don't do it. Get a humidifier. And what has really been helping to assist said humidifier, um, what a humidifier does, look, I'm, I know you all know, but maybe there's one of you who do, does not. I am a former educator. It is my job to educate. So if you don't know what a humidifier is, it really creates um, moisture, puts uh, like dampness in the air to kind of help with the dryness of your sinuses. I really suffer with dry sinuses and the pressure from said dry sinuses. So the, hum the humidifier really helps with that. This one I got off of Amazon. I wanna say it was like $14, a really, really good buy. I actually have two of them because that's how bad it is around here. Now, what I have been doing as of late has been adding the shower steamers. I will take one of the shower steamers. The store is that open, guys. The store is open. So I'll take one of the uh, shower steamers. If you've ordered my shower steamers before, you know that they come in a three pack. And if you have not ordered the shower steamers before, you may not know that inside of the three pack, you get a little mesh basket, or not basket, a little mesh bag. And what I like to do with the mesh bag is place one shower steamer inside and then place the shower steamer inside of my shower. And that way it helps, you know, to allow it to slowly break down. We want our shower steamers to last as long as possible. So I feel like this little organza mesh bag really does help and you can reuse it. Um, and the shower steamers, you should be able to get about two showers out of each shower steamer. And like I said, you do get three shower steamers in a pack. But what I've been doing is I'll take my shower steamer out of the little mesh bag that it comes in, fill up my dehumidifier. And this one's kind of wet because I just poured the water out uh, to bring it down here to show you guys. Place my shower steamer in there and the minty menthol essence of the shower steamer really does help to open my sinuses. So that's something I've been doing. Another thing that I've been doing that has really helped with the pressure. One night I had a headache so bad, like I slept sitting up and that's one thing you can do. Sleep sitting up in a propped up position. It really helps with the pressure if you suffer with that like I do. But then also I will soak a washcloth, a, a really hot steamy washcloth. I'll soak it in a shower steamer and then I'll just lay it over my face. And when I tell you that that really helps to relieve the pressure temporarily, because as you know, nothing works forever when it comes to the allergies. You just get some temporary relief. So I've been doing that. And then on yesterday, I went to CVS. You know, CVS has those little minute clinics. And I went in there and the nurse that I saw suggested that I use the Mucinex Sinus, Sinus Max 
and it's a combination of the Sinus Max Day and the Sinus Max Night tongue twister. So this has been helping. The nighttime really helps me to sleep. I've been telling her that, well, I told her on yesterday that I, 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 I gotta go to sleep. I have not been getting any sleep because I've just been so congested and the pressure has just been terrible. And then she also suggested that I pick pick up the no drip Afrin and I spray that in the morning and then I spray it again in each nostril at night. So that has been helping also. It burns a little bit, but it does immediately go ahead and open up my sinuses, but you know, it does come back. But these things together, they really, really, really do help. But don't forget, drop down, leave a comment guys. Let me know if you are suffering with just these allergies, it's been crazy. And she also um, suggested that I kind of stay away from dairy products while we are in the height of allergy season. Um, Dairy products, not sure if you guys knew this. Um, dairy products, not sure if you guys are aware of this. They help to create mucus, um, at least for me. And so she said during allergy season, I don't need any extra mucus because, you know, there's a lot. So instead of coffee today, I did, as you guys saw, this little concoction here of super greens. I have cranberry juice and apple cider vinegar. She said that apple cider vinegar works really, really well with um, a host of things. One being, you know, little sinus issues. So that's my little medical moment. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and open up these packages now. I have my handy scissors. So I have two boxes here to share with you guys. This first one, as you can see, is from J. Crew. So, we will go ahead and open it up first. All right. Those of you who are going to purchase the shower steamers, I have them in a limited capacity. Limited capacity. So if you plan on ordering the shower steamers, you may want to put the video on pause Go ahead and get that in your cart and then come back to the video. I don't want you to miss those, especially if you, you know, want to get those for your allergies. Also, please don't don't forget, the shower steamers do work in your shower, okay? They work in your shower, but if you want um, something that's gonna be a little bit longer lasting as you are trying to rest, the shower steamer inside of the humidifier is really, really, really great. All right, so the first thing I have here that I want to share with you guys is this J. Crew baseball cap. Why, why, Tan, did you feel the need to go all the way to J. Crew via the mail <laughs> to get a baseball cap? Well, during allergy season, guys, my eyes are just ridiculously red, more puffy than usual. They are already puffy. I suffer with that. I make, you know, no secret of that. I've shared that with you guys here before. Super, super puffy eyes. They're super itchy, super, super red, and extremely watery. But life has to go on. Life can't shut down because I am suffering with allergies. I still have to get out, take care of things, run errands, you know, take orders to the post office and things like that. But I still would like to look, you know, somewhat put, to, put together. I don't want to look like I've just been in a fight. So I love wearing baseball caps during allergy season and fedoras during allergy season. They really help to, you know, pull you together, kind of masking what is going on under the brim. You know, everybody didn't want to see these puffy red eyes. And so I feel that the fedoras, the baseball caps, and just hats in general do a great job of that. And so I am going to share with you guys, as per the title of the video, share with you some of the ways that I like to style my baseball caps, my fedoras. So that was hat number one. So let's see what, what's in this next box here. All right. 
Okay. This is obviously from V9 Gucci, per the greenness here. Comes with a dust bag. These are great for traveling, by the way. Gotta love the Gucci packaging. All right, and here is the little box. I have to say, I don't know the last time I purchased something this small from Gucci. But uh, so this is going to be all of my, uh, oh, this is just a little card. All right, thank you for shopping with us. Okay. All right, and I guess all of my billing information is on the inside, I guess, I don't know. All right, so little bow here, super cute. Magnetic box there. Okay, all right. Up, um, hmm. Those of you who shot with Gucci in recent years, have you guys seen this? Let me get a little bit closer so that you guys can see the um this packaging. All right, so the packaging is a little different this time. This, I have to say, is the very first time that I have received this type of packaging from Gucci. So that is really interesting. And so I guess I'll just go ahead and stand up here and share with you guys what I have here. There's another little dust bag in here. That's great. All right, that's what the box looks like. Looks like on the inside. This is a huge dust bag for this item. All right, and here we are. So... I just felt compelled, guys. I said, if I am going to go another year suffering with these allergies like I am currently doing, I'm going to go ahead and get me another cute little hat. All right, and so I don't own any Gucci hats, and I thought this one was really, really cute. So here's all of your tag. Okay, so this is the little booklet. So with the purse, this is separate, so here is how it looks here on the hat. I didn't know that. I've never purchased a hat from Gucci. And you have this little leather adjustable closure here. I like that. And I got the size extra large. I have a small head, but I wear units, as you guys know. In the last video, I actually shared with you guys a headband wig. And so I wanted to make sure I got a hat that was going to be large enough to fit uh, underneath all of my hair accessories, if you will. So this is here in the signature print, obviously, and it has that little Gucci webbing here on both sides. And I love that the brim is really long. I love a really long brim. Again, this is going to help me to camouflage these um, really red puffy eyes that I got going on. Um, <laughs> here during allergy season. And I guess I'll be able to, I don't know, do you want, do you guys cut the tag out? Uh, drop down, leave a comment. Let me know if you have one of the Gucci hats or caps, do you cut this larger tag out? Let me know. But it seems, appears to be very, very well made. So we're gonna head upstairs here and um, I'm gonna share with you guys how I style this hat up as well or this cap up as well as my j crew cap let's go ahead and give a close-up of the j crew this is one size um not quite as well made as the gucci but you know i love it again a nice long brim on it going to absolutely get the job done all right so i'm gonna package this stuff back up head upstairs and we will um you know, get into these looks. Real quick, I'm upstairs in my bathroom, so please pardon the echo, but I just had to mention this real quick. Um, the store's back open, like I said. Um, we have all of the favorites back in stock, 
but we also have some new, new, new items that I wanted to share. So you guys are familiar with the turmeric lime scrub. Absolutely love this. You guys love this. I cannot keep it in stock. Um, so you guys love it so much that I wanted to go ahead and add the turmeric butter. Acne scars, this is perfect for. The reason I decided to whip this up, I mentioned the last video, maybe the video before last that we went to Playa del Carmen and boy, did I get sunburned. And this has really been helping me out. So uh, if you have those stubborn acne scars, those dark spots that you're trying to clear up, go ahead and Google the benefits of turmeric on the skin. And Miss Ma'am, go ahead and get you a jar of this turmeric butter. You are absolutely going to love it. And I love the two of these together. You guys know I am a huge fan of my matcha tea body butter for my face. It is amazing as well, but I love the benefits of this turmeric scrub. So I felt that the benefits of it in a butter would also be amazing. So that combination, that duo is great. Another new in is my strawberry daiquiri body scrub. This guys smells so divine i told you guys i don't drink but i have had a virgin daiquiri in my lifetime and this smells just like that um, as you guys know all of my products are natural so there are no artificial colors artificial anything in here so it's not red okay all natural <laughs> juices and berries in this strawberry daiquiri body scrub. So that is new. And then not to be outdone, I had to go ahead and add a peach Bellini body scrub. All right, this is for you ladies who love to have your peach Bellinis for your brunches on Saturday and Sunday. Well, you can go ahead and scrub down <laughs> with this peach Bellini body scrub before you head out to meet the girls and have, you know, a nice little brunch. So just wanted to pop in here really quickly and share with you guys the newest items over in the store. All right, now let's go ahead and get to these hats. One other thing, guys, when you receive your orders this go around, you will absolutely receive something that looks like this. Just a really simple stir. As you guys know, the weather has started to warm up. I think here in Atlanta, it was a really nice 70 degrees. Yes, the pollen has come in, the allergies are just on fire, but the temperatures are really starting to heat up and I am here for it. So that means that when you receive your order, you know, it may not be as solid as the ones that I have shown you here on the channel or the, or the way it appears on the website. That is simply because you guys know, once again, I use just the best jojoba oils and shea butters and mango butters. And so I have to melt those items down to put all the good essences in them. And then they return to a solid form. However, in transit to you guys, they may become a little bit more loose. Um, there may be a little liquid on top. No worries. Take your stir, give it a really uh, cute and gentle stir. And if you want it to solidify really quickly, you can place it in your refrigerator for a few minutes or simply just sit it on the countertops in your bathroom and they will return to their solid states. No worry. My scrubs also have those same mango butters and shea butters in them. Really good scrubs, guys. Just the best ingredients in all the products. Even my shower steamers have mango butter. So just the finest ingredients uh, for you guys. So the scrubs, if they come to you guys a little bit more liquid than solid, simply take your stir. One of these will be in every order. Give it a quick stir. As I said, put it in the refrigerator, put it on your countertop and no worries, it will return to the solid state. Nothing has been lost. All those great ingredients are still in the product, whether it be the butters, the scrubs, no worries. So this first look I actually wore to CVS when I went in to get diagnosed, diagnosed uh, on yesterday. 
And she said, you know what? You are the first patient to come in here today who does not look like how they are feeling. And so these are looks that I have attempted to put together for both you and I, so that when we are stepping out, even though we are suffering with the, just the plagues of the pollen and everything like that, we can still look like we have put a little bit of effort into, you know, what we are wearing. So this is what I wore on yesterday. This particular hat here, is a Panama Jack hat, all right? This is the first hat. So I love both fedoras and I love baseball caps like the one I'm wearing here today. They are just the easiest things to throw on when you want to look like you have put some work into a look but you are not feeling 100% your best. I am not feeling 100% my best today. I do feel better than I felt on yesterday, but I would like to say just throwing on this cap and today's look is, you know, I'm wearing an Adidas jacket. So this is more of an athletic look, but it beats, you know, just walking out in, you know, let's say a bonnet or, you know, a, a broken down head scarf. I think this is a little bit more of, you know, a, a nicer attempt at looking like something. And so this is the hat that I wore on yesterday. This Panama Jack hat, guys, I actually purchased years ago when we stayed at one of the Universal Studio Resorts in Orlando and they had a gift shop. Of course, there was a gift shop in there and because I love hats so much, I just had to pick this one up and it has held up so well. Very, very well made. The size is an extra large. As I say to downstairs, I have a small head. However, I do love to don, you know, a good hair accessory every now and again. And I just want the hat to fit without looking like it's barely fitting. All right, and so the shirt that I'm wearing is just a simple white button down. A white button down, I feel, should be a staple in everyone's wardrobe. These jeans that I'm wearing, no, they're not my Amazon favorites. They're not my Amazon skinny jeans, but they are jeans that have a skinny fit to them. And guys, I purchased these from Marshalls oh, maybe two or three seasons ago, and I love them. There is so much stretch in them. That's the other thing too. When you're not feeling your best, it's really great to be able to throw on a pair of jeans that are not really hard and stiff. These are super stretchy. I feel that the stretchy jeans are a great alternative to the leggings that we typically wear, the black leggings that we wear. These are a great alternative. You know, they're kind of skinny and uh, kind of you know, a small, over, a small ankle. And so I just think they really jazz up the look of this white button down, just really taking it to the next level. And for the shoes, because these again are looks that we are wearing when we're not feeling our best. And so I decided to go with my fave Princetown loafers. Um, these are the Gucci Princetown loafers in the khaki color. And if you're anything like me, leading up to the spring and the onslaught of the sinus infections. Sometimes I am able to tip in and get a pedicure and sometimes, sometimes I'm not. And so these shoes are perfect because they are high. The fact that I have not had a pedicure and no one else is the wiser, all right? And so the bag for this particular look is my Gucci tote. Just a really well thought out or seemingly well thought out look, but it really does look um, very well put together and of course the sunglasses are a must during allergy season when my eyes start to get itchy and watery no one needs to see this and so these are my um i think i shared these a few videos back these are my newest um ray-ban square sunglasses absolutely love these Really quick story here. Not sure if I've already shared these, but I took these with me to Plydale Carmen, guys, and I lost them. Yeah, I was on like an abbreviated zip line. It was, was, wasn't one of the huge zip lines. And when I got off, because I kind of propped them right here on my swimsuit, and when I got off, they were gone. And I, I wasn't even going to tell Eric, um, but he noticed that I didn't have them. And I said, babe, they're gone. They're in a river somewhere. I'm not even going to worry about it. And he said, because we were leaving the park at uh, on um, at that time, and he said, well, wait, just wait right here. There is a lost and found in the park. I'm just going to go and check. 
and see if they have them. So by the time we walked back to the front of the park, to the lost and found, they were there. Someone had found my brand new Ray-Ban sunglasses and they had them there. So there's a little story about that. If you guys are worried about going to Ish Correct, guys, it, it, it's a really, really great place, a really honest place. So um, I was really happy to get those back. But yeah, this is the look. Drop down, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about it. All right, guys, you will have to excuse the look of the video if the lighting is going in and out i am here in my closet room as you guys can see per the usual sitting at a window and the sun has just come back out again so please excuse the the lighting if it goes in and out for the next hat the next hat is also a fedora i have had this hat man maybe about seven years and I want to say, guys, it might be a little bit, it may be getting close to that time to retire it. It may not be coming across on camera, but it is starting to get those little fuzzies on it. Some of you may say that it gives the hat character, and that would be great if the little fuzzies were gray. As you can see, the, the hat is gray, but I have like brown fuzzies on it. <laughs> there are a few red fuzzies here on the back so this might be the last season for this particular hat i will grab a lint roller and see if i can get some of those off um but yeah so this is the fedora this fedora is actually from target yes the nine target i'm gonna give you a little secret i never or a little tip <laughs> i never purchased my hats in department stores from the women's department because the hats are smaller in the women's department. At least that is what I have found. And so, like I said, I like to wear my little units and even if I have braids, you have the extra hair in the braids and I still like to wear a good fedora or a baseball cap when I have braids and so I need a larger hat. And when I have tried on hats and even purchased hats in the past, from the women's department, I have found them to be too small. So I head over to the men's department. And also the men's department, in my opinion, they have the style of hat that I prefer. I feel that getting a hat from the men's department, you know, it actually feels that look that I am going for. For the shirt, I am wearing the newest addition to the store. This is the All Roads Lead to Luxury. Just about every luxury designer that you could want is listed here on this particular tee. And it's like, you know how when you go to the Caribbean, you go to the beach and they have those little signs and they'll have one, a little peg going this way. It says Aruba, another one this way, a Bahamas, another one this way, Jamaica. And I thought this was really, really something really neat to put on a tee. You know, you have your Gucci going one way, your Hermes going one way. So just the perfect tee, I love it. This tee, again, is available right now in the store. You can get this particular tee, I'm wearing it here in the V-neck, but you can also, guys, pick this tee up in the round neck. Now, you guys have seen these particular jeans before. Again, jeans that have a lot of stretch, and these do, are really great on those days when we are not wanting to, you know, do a whole lot with our look, but we don't want to be all tight and confined. So I love the jeans with the stretch. So these guys, these jeans are from, I want to say these are JCPenney. If you guys saw the video where I talked about these a few videos back, correct me if I'm wrong, but I want to say these are from JCPenney. I want to say that's right. Yeah, so I love these. Not too much distressing on these particular jeans, but they are super cute nonetheless. And then for the shoes, of course, the Tory Birch Miller here in the black patent. Again, you don't have to walk out of the house looking like you feel. This look, I'm not doing a whole lot. And it's basic. It is a pair of jeans and a t-shirt, but adding in the glossiness of the patent, Tory Birch Miller. And then for my purse, I decided to go with, this is I think my newest purse. This is my um, Saint Laurent toy, Lulu toy. I'll have the name of it right here. Got drop down, leave a comment. If you have a lot of purses, if you have a lot of handbags, do you know the name of every bag in your collection? I don't, I don't. 
I, it is very, very difficult to keep up with all the names of these handbags. And it's like every time these designers come out with another bag, the name just grows. You know, the name is like three paragraphs long. I can't remember the names of these bags. So I'll have it here on the screen, but I think this is the Saint Laurent Lulu toy crossbody <laughs> but either way this is a really cute look i think i would have no problems putting this together also when i'm not feeling well like uh let's say i have a doctor's appointment the next day or i know i have an errand that i have to take care of the next day what i do i absolutely take my clothes out, put the outfit together, put the look together, and I'll hang it here in my closet so that all I'll have to do is run in here and get dressed. I'm not, you know, looking through things, trying to put a look together. And I think that's, that when we do that, when we're not ready for the next day, that's when we go out of the house looking, you know, not really put together. So if I know I'm not going to be feeling well, or I know I'm not feeling well, but I have to go out the next day, I make sure that I spend a little time the night before and uh, get my look out for the next day. But drop down, leave a comment, let me know what you think about this particular All one. right, so I just mentioned Ish Correct, and I wanted to share with you this particular baseball cap that I picked up on our most recent trip because I didn't style it here in this video, but I think it is so super cute. I picked it up inside the park at one of the gift shops there, and it just says Ish Correct Mexico. I think I may have one other red cap. I'm typically a black or gray baseball cap type of girl. So I thought that this would be a cute little addition to my collection. Um, I don't really have any pink caps and I recently picked this one up. This is an Adidas cap. And if you're looking for, that looked like it was a little bit washed out, but it's just a really pretty pale pink baseball cap. Not sure if you guys can see that, but, um, if you're looking for some really cute athletic caps and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money, Marshalls and TJ Maxx, they are a great place to go and get your caps. This particular one here was $26, $26. And these caps last a long time. They really do last a long time. And this is another new one and it is among my faves. I love this one because it has like, like a suede. It feels like a combination of suede and leather brim. And then the cap itself is like a denim, a chambray denim. Love it. These are actually both new. And this one was only $24. So this one was $24 and this one was $26. I would have thought that this one um, would have cost a little bit more because of the materials used, but very well made. I love Adidas caps. I love both Adidas and Nike. However, if I had to choose a fave, it would absolutely be the um, Adidas caps. All right, so up next, J. Crew. You guys saw me unpackage this a few minutes ago. I just love this. This cap reminds me of like being on a ship, going sailing somewhere. And I thought it would be just another great addition to have here in my baseball cap collection. Very inexpensive. I want to say this was around $23, may have even been $13 because I had a little bit of a coupon, a little discount code. So really, really inexpensive, but I think it does take the look, you know, up a few notches. Now the baseball cap, it's only gonna do so much for the look, but I think this particular one, I don't have many caps in navy. This is maybe one of about two that I have in the navy, but I think the crispness of the stitching here, it just really gives this look, you know, a really nice finish. And so for my top, again, jeans and a t-shirt, that is me in a nutshell. This is one of the tees from the Unfrumpy Mummy store. This is the Shaka Khan tee, an idol, an absolute idol. And I decided to pair uh, with this particular t-shirt, the Gap jeans that I shared with you guys before uh, in white. 
is a little distressing on these jeans down at the leg but i just love them again they are super stretchy you wouldn't look at you wouldn't be able to tell that they were super stretchy by looking at them and i love that too about the gap jeans you know you don't really hear about people shopping at the gap all that much anymore the gap has been around for a long time the gap banana republic Old Navy. They've been around for a long time. And so I love the Gap for its staple pieces. If you've seen the advertisements here lately from Gap on the television, you will know that the Gap has partnered with Dapper Dan. And he has, you know, the Gap has those hoodies or tees that say GAP Gap. Well, now they partnered with Dapper Dan and uh, he has hoodies that say DAP, D-A-P. And from what I've heard, they can't keep those on the shelves. So anyway, the Shaka Khan tee, the J. Crew hat, these Gap jeans. And for the shoes, I decided to go with my Gucci wedges in the denim. And I just, I, don't know, I just think it's a really cute look. And for my bag, I decided to pull out my Christian Dior book tote. Just a really nice look, almost nautical. It's almost giving me nautical vibes with the, with the hat. Because I also have this denim fedora, I decided to pair or try it out with the look as well. And I actually like them both. This particular hat, once again, was purchased, was purchased at Target from the men's department. But do you see what I'm saying when I say that when you head over to the men's department, the look of the hat goes from really frilly and frou-frou to just, I don't know, it's just like a boss. It's like a really bossy hat. But then when you put it on as the woman, I think it really gives that, that, that middle ground sex appeal, you know? A little bit male, a little bit feminine um, equals just the erogenous, you know, sexy appeal, sex appeal. And so the brand is Goodfellow, Goodfellow and Company. And if you shop over in the men's department at Target, you will absolutely be familiar with that particular brand. So love both of these looks, both with the fedora and the baseball cap. You guys will have to drop down, leave a comment, let me know which one is your favorite. Also, do you guys wear hats? Let me not just assume that just because I have a huge collection of hats, guys, and also I haven't even shown you half the hats I have. You can't see behind me, but, but you see where those items are hanging there? Below there are cubes and in two of the cubes, nothing but hats. So let me not assume that everyone wears hats. If you feel that you do not have the head for hats, Drop down, leave a comment. Let me know why. If you do wear hats, let me know your favorite style. For me, it is absolutely the baseball cap first, followed by the fedora. But let me know which you are partial to. And if you don't wear them, why not? Drop down, leave a comment. Let me know. All right, up next, this, this is my most expensive hat. <laughs> you guys saw that I just unpackaged this today. This is my most expensive hat baseball cap but i am here for it you guys know i have so many purses in my collection with the webbing the iconic gucci webbing here and then the gucci canvas goes without saying i have you guys this is out of view for you guys but there is a an entire almost an entire wall over here of just gucci purses with this canvas and um yeah, I think it's going to be a look. I think it's going to be a look when I start to wear this a little bit more. As you guys saw, I just got it today. So I have not ventured outside of the house uh, with this particular cap, but I am really, really looking forward to wearing it. I decided that I will keep the tag, the Gucci tag here on the inside, you know, just in case I decide to sell it. That's the other thing too. Um, here on YouTube, I'm sure you ladies have seen that it is really commonplace for a lot of the ladies on here who make YouTube videos, who buy the purses, uh, the luxury purses to sell their things back and forth, sell back and forth. I, I don't do that. I buy my luxury items and I become almost attached to them. And they all have a place not only 
in um, my closet, my wardrobe, but they all have a story. And to sell them off, I don't know, I'll be void of that story. Let me, and, and there's nothing wrong uh, with selling your things, back, uh, selling, you know, your purses back and, you know, possibly trading uh, up to get something else. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's just, you know, it's just not my thing. Let me know. Drop down, leave a comment. Let me know how you feel about that. Do you buy your purses? Keep them, you know, it's almost like leasing. Yeah, it's almost like leasing a car. I've never leased a car, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with leasing a car. I don't know. Let me know if you, you know, buy your bags and then sell them back you know, back and forth like that. Let me know how you feel about that. But anywho's, um, my newest cap, absolutely adore it. And so what I have done here today is pair it with another new tee in the store. This particular tee features some lettering that I have never used in the store before. It's like 3D puffy. Absolutely love it. All right. So you can get this particular tee in the store. This particular tee is only available in the round neck and it's only available in black, but I absolutely love it. You guys know with the tees, you can dress them up. You can dress them down. My favorite way, throw them on with a blazer, maybe a cute little pump, a cute little sandal, and you have a great look. My jeans, again, a pair of stretchy jeans, all about the stretchy jeans for this particular video. Absolutely love them. But this particular look, guys, I decided to keep it really, really casual. And I am wearing my Adidas sneakers. I could have placed this look together with my Adidas baseball cap, but I wanted to go ahead and give my Gucci cap a try. And I absolutely love this look, very casual. I think the mixing of the brands, that's just what I do, love it. The bag that I chose to pull out for this particular look is my Gucci Messenger. I have had this bag for ages. And here again, it just goes back to what I was saying a few minutes ago. I keep my bags. I don't, I don't sell them back. Not saying that I would never do that, but right now in my life, I can't see me doing it. This particular bag went with Eric Chase and I when we went to Canada one year. We did, we stayed in Toronto and then we drove to Quebec. I think we did. Stayed in Toronto and drove to Quebec. And in this bag, I had some of everything. It was so hot. We went there for the 4th of July and it was blazing. So I had wipes because we were getting oily and I had bottles of water and, and there were snacks in the bag. We did a lot of sightseeing. And so if I were to sell this bag, gosh, I just feel like I'm taking a part of, of the memories and giving them to someone else. And those are memories that I have, you know, I, I hold, you know, near and dear to my heart. So as it stands right now, I will not be selling any of my bags back, but hey, if that is something that you do, then it is absolutely fine. This is a no judgment zone, but just let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know your thoughts on this look. Let me know about the cap. Let me know what y'all think about the cap. Go ahead, go ahead. I know this is a lot of money for a baseball cap, but on a day like today, the way I'm feeling, if I had to go somewhere, yes, I could wear the baseball cap. But if I want it to be a little bit more elevated, I think this Gucci baseball cap would absolutely be perfect. But anywho, let me know your thoughts. This next look I feel is my favorite. And I think this is my favorite type of vacation and travel look for spring and summer. But so let's get into this fedora. I love, I just purchased this particular fedora at Ishkoret. I absolutely did. We were in the park. Uh, we were actually in Ishkoret Park or was it Explore? One of the two. It was either Explore or Ishkoret. And they were selling these hats. God, guys, I paid 15 US dollars for this hat. And I am so upset that I didn't get another one, that, that I didn't get another one. I love that it's vented on the side. If you've ever worn a fedora, then you know that these hats can get really hot. And I love that they took the time to vent it. I love this band going around the hat. It really does give me Gucci vibes, kind of, sort of, uh, but I love it. And for the price and the quality, 
I will absolutely, when we head back to uh, to Ish Correct, I will absolutely be picking up a couple of these. But I love it. You guys will drop, have to drop down. Let me know what you think about it. And so for the look, I decided to put on this really cute baby doll dress in white with the nice voluminous <laughs> uh, statement sleeves. Just really cute. This dress I purchased from Target maybe two seasons ago. Could have been last year can't really remember but I think maybe last year but I love it it has the pockets and I know that the first time we went to Ish Correct um not this was it th no not this past Christmas was it this y'all <laughs> we went to Ish Correct and I wore this dress at one point so I love it I love this as a travel look and for my shoes, I decided to wear my Gucci Ace sneakers. And the bag is my um, Chanel sitting right back. There's a Chanel Fontaine. I think it is. I think. I think. I cannot remember the names of these bags, guys. Drop down again. Leave a comment. Let me know if you remember the names of all these darn bags. I cannot. But I think that is the... Uh, Chanel Fontaine, but I love it. I love that it has a chain. You can carry, you can wear it on your shoulder. You can wear it as I'm wearing it here, crossbody. And of course you could just, you know, wear it as a tote. But that is it guys. Those are the ways that I like to style up my hats. Okay. I don't wear hats every day, but during the spring, I wear hats just about every, really every day. It is absolutely necessary. A lot of the medicine that I take for my allergies when I'm not driving, it does make me a little bit drowsy. So my eyes tend to be a little bit droopy. And then, like I said, they're red and they're itchy. So I just think it's necessary. I want to look as presentable as I can, as unfrumpy as I can when I step outside of these doors. But you guys will have to drop down, leave a comment. Let me know what are your tips? What are your tricks for disguising the itchy red puffy eyes when you are, oh gosh, when you are just suffering with the allergies? It's, it's, it's a lot. It is a lot. All right. So I want to thank everyone who tipped in before the store closed, um, before we closed to restock. Um, I didn't get a chance to, in the video at that time, to give you guys your shout outs. You should have already seen your names tipping across the screen. And I just want to thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I want to thank you guys too, who as soon as this video hit live you tipped in and you got that turmeric scrub and you got that turmeric body butter thank you thank you thank you your names of course will be tipping across the screen in the next video and let me know if you use the shower steamers to help open up your sinuses i am about to go and pop one inside of my humidifier and just kind of lay back and let it work its magic. <laughs> but I really appreciate you guys stopping in today, guys. Cannot thank you guys enough for all of this love and support. Really do appreciate it. And I'll see y'all in the next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.